hello friends welcome to my Easter thrifted home I'm glad you could come and join me I'm happy to show you all the stuff I did for spring all the things I thrifted or I made or I bought maybe they're not antique but I still like them because I like any kind of stuff whatever catches my eye speaks to me what I buy for my home so so come on in I'll give you a tour there's Lexi <laughs> This is the wreath on our front door for Easter. I made it myself. The wreath, I don't remember where I got it from, but the cross, I want to say I got a Hobby Lobby. And what is it? Love each other as I have loved you. John 7, 15, 12. If I could read my own stuff. Anyway, I thought that would be perfect for Easter. Plus it looks springy. Then over here, This cute little vase with the pink and the flowers and the hummingbirds I got with my daughter Haley at a, I think, either the Restore or the Goodwill in Leland. Then I bought these faux tulips on Amazon. I like how springy they look. The little bunny is a set of four that came at Target. And I split it with Marnie, Maggie, Haley, and me. So we each had a bunny. They're all different, like us, but it's cool. And, oh my gosh, this book, The Find by Williams. I highly recommend it if you like thrifting and treasure hunting. A lot of great insight, listing of treasure places online and physical, and plus some just really neat ideas. My house has been there a long time, but I like that it's lit, so I just leave it there. The little seashell box, I recently got the box, the glass box, an estate sale. It was only two dollars and I got the little swan at a different estate sale and then added some faux greenery. I have to use any faux greenery that Lexi can reach it has to be fake because she will chew on it. Even the fake stuff, the dork. And then this vase I got Hobby Lobby but the little um, greenery pick came with this tag. Life's most beautiful times are not seen until the eyes but are not seen with are not seen with the eyes but felt with the heart for heaven's sakes i can read honest i can <laughs> and then the little nest also came from the nest and the pick came from a shop here in Fayetteville called the promise and then the pick that has like oh not sure what those are but that came from i believe amazon or Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure, because I added it in to fill it out a little bit more for spring. So this is our entryway for spring and Easter. So now on to the living room. Here's Mr. Lenny in the sunshine. It's beautiful today in North Carolina. Have the windows open, just enjoying myself. So I changed out the throw pillow covers. That They all came from Amazon. This one's new this year. And then I have a stack of more decorating books and some different rocks. That big giant seashell actually was unearthed from our backyard. As weird as that is, we call our house the giving house because when the people moved, there's so many things they left behind that we just enjoy. I don't know if they just forgot or they no longer enjoyed and left them for us. It's hard to say. But that faux plant is from, I believe, Joanna Gaines' line at Target. So I think it looks like a Monstera. This is Jolene Jones. She's actually real. And she can be because she's hanging up where Lexi can't reach her. <laughs> <laughs> that cat. This is a quilt I got at an estate sale. I absolutely love it. Some of the pieces in between were coming loose and I had to hand stitch them back together. Someone went to a lot of work to the detailing of 
either crocheting or tatting in between each square. And then it's different squares on the back and it's a fairly large quilt. I love it. Then another Amazon pillow cover. Then up here, this little mug came from Thriftique, a little thrift store here in Fayetteville. And the flowers are faux ranunculus that came from Amazon. And then lately I've just, I have been collecting from estate sales, all these children's spoons and forks. I just find the silverware so cute. I leave all the detail. And this little mid-century creamer came from estate sale as well. This is my most recent purchase, this little guy. How cute is he? He came from Home Goods. He has a friend, but his friend is on a different shelf. But they're so cute and fuzzy. They look so real. A couple more decorating books. These little Easter stickers are old because they were my mama's. And she had them, I don't know how long, so been around a while. The little cups I got at estate sales and just put some faux eggs in there just to dress it up and make it more Eastery. This little kitty I got on eBay and the little glasses and bottles came and the little plate came from an estate sale. Carolina Beach, I've been there. And then finished it out with some baby's breath. Glass lantern lit. I just love oil lamps. I moved my dough bowl with my books over here. I don't know when I'll change it out because I really like the books in there. So, and then just added a fun little spring frog. He doesn't look too happy, but he's so cute. So, and then this is a candle snuffer my husband gave me for Christmas. I love how it looks like a branch with a flower and a little bird. Plus having that up there, it's something that Lexi can't really mess with. <laughs> I almost have to toddle proof the house for my cat. Then here we have some more faux ranunculus from Amazon. And this little tin doesn't have a lid, but it was my mom's. And I thought it's perfect for Easter and I wanted to use it. I'm sure she found it at a thrift store because she loved to thrift. She also loved to collect chickens and roosters. Mr. Lenny enjoying the sun. I have another oil lamp. And this kitty I bought, I actually got it at a discount because one of its legs had been broken, repaired, but can't even tell, and I love it. And I added a little ribbon at Valentine's and I just think it's too cute to take off of it. And then this is a planter I got in a estate sale and then I filled it with just more, I think roses and peonies maybe? They're fake, they're from Amazon, but I just, I love all these pink flowers for Easter and spring. And this way I can have them and they'll last for a long time and Lexi can't eat them. <laughs> Notice the theme here, my cat. I have to be careful of my cat. I think Lenny would try and chew on him, but he's almost 60 and he's a bit lazy. This is what he likes to spend his time doing. Resting in the sun, which, hey, sounds good to me. Now on to the dining room. I just added a little beaded wreath and my little Be Brave Angel that came from Cursive in downtown Fayetteville. They have so many unique, awesome things there. And then this is my corner cabinet. And I know there's probably not really a wedding season, but it's springy to me and I love these 1950s cake toppers. Look at her dress and a pearl bouquet and the detail. 
That came off eBay. A little creamer. I'm not sure. Either Habitat or an estate sale. These little people came from an estate sale. They're a little bit more beat up, but I don't care. I still love them. And then this came from Blue Bicycle downtown. It was probably my second purchase of a wedding couple and I got it on sale. And I just, I love the lace dress and the flowers. The plate came from, I believe, eBay. And then these are vintage, faux vintage cards. I mean, they're not real vintage, but they came off Amazon. And the little bunny came from an estate sale. And then here is my collection of ducks. I mean, I have a couple more, but just thought it'd be fun to put them all together. The little duck with the umbrella. He, he did not come with the umbrella, but he came from Amazon. And the little umbrella I took from a restaurant we went to that served cocktails. I asked for the, I got the umbrella and saved it because I thought it'd be cute with him. And the itty bitty little pewter duck, he came from an estate sale too. These two little guys came from, I can't remember if it was Hobby Lobby or Target. I wanna say Hobby Lobby because I've seen them there this year. The plate came from Target or TJ Maxx. But he's so cute, look at his little face. Like, hey, what you doing? Another faux Easter card. And these little guys with their umbrella, that came from the Cracker Barrel when I went to visit with my best friend. I believe it was last year for Easter, if I remember right. She came last March, spent some time with me in here in Fayetteville. And then on this shelf, this I believe came from Restore, Habitat Restore. And I just love the spring flowers on it. The little teacup my mom had collected and I love it. And the plate, I don't remember. Probably a thrift store. Another card. The little bunny and the little flower watering can came from estate sales. And the little frog, I believe he came from Amazon. I'm not sure. Over here is my hutch. I love to change out the little vignette here and over here on this corner. So this little plate rack came from Amazon. I'd seen something someone else had similar and I thought that was such a clever idea. The plates, this one came off eBay. So did this one. I absolutely love this one. The plate I had ordered got broke, so she offered me a different one, and that's the one I chose, and I think it's more beautiful than the one I actually ordered. This was a card my daughters gave my mom one year for Easter. So her, the chicks, and shoes. She loved to collect shoes. This came from the Habitat Free Store. I'm sure it goes with a teacup, but I never did find the teacup, and I thought the dish was still pretty anyhow. And one of these, I've wanted one of these for a long time, just because they remind me of my mom. I finally got one in an estate sale. Same with the little bunny, he came from an estate sale. These two old vintage cars, those are older. My mom collected those, and it was cool to find them and be able to use it. And another one of my fake vintage cards. And then that little bowl back there with the mushrooms, that came from the restore. And this children's book was Jesus and the Shepherd. Jesus as the Shepherd. Came from an estate sale, as did this Marjolene Bastine sign. And then the bunnies, they were different colors and I actually painted them this chocolate brown. So I think it's called leather. Spray painted them so they'd look like chocolate bunnies.
this is my other hutch. I just love decorating these hutches way more than I thought I would. <laughs> so up here, this single serve teapot came off eBay. It reminded me of something my mother would have loved. The bird's nest, I made it a couple of years ago. I mean, it's just a nest off, craft nest with some faux eggs in it. The teapot came from a restore in Raleigh. And the owl is lusterware that came from a barn um, flea market with Marnie last fall. And the little chick I got off eBay. I think he's a bobblehead. <laughs> and then down here, this little tree came from the promise. I got this little, it's Miss Muffet sit on her tuppet eating her curds and whey. Her head had been broken and re-glued, but I don't care. I just think she's so pretty. She came from an estate sale. The plate back there came from eBay, another of the faux vintage signs from Amazon. This guy, I don't remember where I got him or how long ago I got him. Could have been Target, could have been Hobby Lobby. I've had him for probably two or three years now. And this little guy is new from Target this year from their dollar section. Isn't he so sweet? Has such a vintage look. That's my Aunt Penny plate. Absolutely love it, finally got it. And a beautiful little spring teacup and saucer. And that's the chick that matches my other duck that came off Amazon. And then this gravy boat isn't from an estate sale. And that little chick I got at, um, I wanna say the Pick and Coop antique store here in Fayetteville. And there's the duck's other friend. And then this dish, I believe came from the ReStore. Last I have here in the dining room is my dining room table. So I have a little bunny under a cloche. I got him from eBay. And the dish, I believe, is from the wreath store. The candlestick holders are from Amazon. And this little bunny I got at an estate sale. One of his ears was broken. I had to glue it back on, but I'm fine with that. This little guy is from the 1940s. And he came from Antiques on Grisham in Raleigh. It's actually a little ring holder. Then this sign, the reason for Easter came off of, I want to say Etsy. And then this little creamer came from my daughter's Etsy shop. And these are more of my mother's vintage stickers, Easter stickers. Then these little carrots, faux carrots, came from Amazon as well as the titty, kitty teacup. I tried to find one that looked like Linny. There wasn't one that looked like Lexi, or I probably would have bought it too. This little guy came from an antique store. I couldn't tell you where. Then this, my daughter bought this a while back and she had it set up differently. No longer wanted it, and I'm like, I will take it. And I just love it filled with Eastery things little glass bunnies and bottle brush carrots. Then over here we have a little lamb. He's a little worn for the wear, but he came from eBay. And then these three little guys came from Hobby Lobby. And this basket came from an estate sale with more flowers from Amazon. And then I believe this also came off Amazon. After I show this to you, I also wanted to share what it looks like at night when it's all lit up and glowing. So I'll show you this daylight and then it will be followed by evening time.
This is the kitchen. Sorry it's a little dark in this room. I don't like turning on the, but I guess maybe I will. I don't like turning on the overhead lights. I'm not an overhead light type of person. I really like more ambient light, but with the catio out there, it blocks a lot of the light that would come in through the kitchen, which I'm also good with because we love our catio. So I only decorated a few things in here for Easter. I decorated the island. There's my little ring mouse that holds my ring when I do baking and things like that, my wedding ring. And then this tear tray came from my daughter Callie for my birthday. And on it I have this kind of weird looking creamer cat, but I love him. And then faux egg. And then this little telephone teapot came from the Habitat Restore. Some wooden spoons and more old spoons. And this little chick, he's friends with the frog in the other room. There was four of them and I gave two to my friend Marnie and the other two I kept. So that is the only tear tray I have. I know some people are big on them. I am if they're done right. But you know, it's your tear tray, decorate it how you want to. And this is how I wanted to. Look at the cute little bunnies. Then I have a little chick. A little creamer. So there's not much else in my kitchen that's decorated for Easter or spring. Although my balance is kind of springy. And over here I do have this little guy. The little um, chicken wire cage came from The Promise. And then the little chicken side came from Pick and Coop. The old little chick. And of course, trust God, know God, follow God. And this is my friend, my husband gave this to me for my birthday. I wasn't sure what to call it. And then it was a boy, but I just didn't feel like that was right. So I've changed it to be a girl. Her name is Alice, and I want to find a bow to put in her faux plant. So, I'm a child of the 70s, Brady Bunch. Alice was always my favorite. Then over here, another touch of Easter. So this is one of my mom's hens and roosters she collected, and another little faux Easter card. And then that hen rooster also reminds me of my mom, so that's why I bought her leave from home goods or TJ Maxx. But that's that's all that's really in here for Easter. And then the last is the library, which has all the mantle. So I have all my collection of bunnies and carrots. Some of these are from Amazon and the bigger ones like this one I made. I think he came from Amazon or Hobby Lobby and some of the other bunnies did. That bunny came from an estate sale. And then the gold bunny came from Target this year. And that Americana bunny came from Etsy. The little iron stone is something I made DIY. It's actually plastic candy mold. And then some morpho bunnies. And then that bunny came off eBay. It's apartment 56. And then there's morpho Easter cards and garland for my mantle. I'll step back here. Oops, I'll bump into my table so you can see the whole thing is one complete vignette. They're moving because my fan is on. Help keep air circulating since it's Outside, get a nice breeze inside. Oh, I love the lilacs. Reminds me of my grandma Ella.
And then the other touch I have in here for Easter is over here on my window table. I made that. There's a DIY short that kind of shows me making it. I have this cute little adorable chick. Don't remember where I got it. Another little phone nest I made under a cloche. And then that's it. That's all that's in my Easter spring home. Come back in here so you can see. We kind of come in a circle. Um, this is something I made. It actually has the state of North Carolina on it. And right there's Fayetteville where I live. And down here by Wilmington is where my daughter Haley lives. And Callie's up in Nebraska. And then I also have a magnolia wreath. Because down here, magnolias... Oh, you never smelled one. That's something you need to do. Come to the south and smell one. They're the most amazing scent. Anyhow. Oh, Lenny actually moved out of the sun. Thank you for joining me, friends. I'm so glad you stopped by to see my, my Easter home. And my spring thrifted house. I hope you come back and visit me again real soon. And also, happy Easter. Jesus loves you. And I do too. I so appreciate when you drop me comments and come and visit me and come see me. We like visitors, don't we, Lenny? Kiki, ki, ki. hi, baby. Say bye to our friends. <laughs>